Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, the age of the father three years ago was seven times the age of his son. At present, the father's age is five times that of his son. What are the present ages of the father and the son? So what is the given question? The age of the father three years ago. So three years ago. Father's age was seven times the age of the son. Son's age and five at present. At present, if we are saying, if we are saying, means the father's age is five times son's age. Then you have to find out the son's age and father's age. So that's a given question. So this is the first question on ages. So how to do this? So by conventional method, how we do this? So we have to assume son's age is equal to x. So therefore, what will be father's age? Father's age will be equal to 5x. It is given at present. Father's age is equal to 5 times son's age. So if son's age is equal to x, then father's age will be equal to 5x. 5 times son's age. So three years ago, what will be the son's age? Son's age will be x minus three, and what will be father's age? Father's age will be equal to five x minus three. Three years ago, both the father and both uh, both the father and the son will be three years younger. So x minus three and five x minus three. And what is the relation? Three years ago, father was father was seven times the age of his son. So seven times x minus three will be equal to 5x minus 3. So that is the relation. So from that, what will be what we will be getting? 7x minus 21 is equal to 5x minus 3. So 7x minus 5x is equal to 2x. So 2x is equal to minus 3 plus 21 is equal to 18. Implies x is equal to 18. What is x? X is the present age of son. So what is the present? X is equal to nine. So sorry, eighteen by two is equal to nine. So X is equal to nine. So son's age is equal to nine. So present age of son is equal to nine, and present age of father will be five x. So father's age will be equal to forty-five years. So this is the traditional method. So these kind of questions are very common, and so today we are going to study a shortcut method for doing these kind of problems. So you can very well do it by using traditional method, and those who are very strong in solving these kind of equations, they can go on with the traditional method. That is why I just showed the traditional method or the conventional method. So you have to assume son's age is equal to x. So it is given that at present father's age is five times the son's age. So father's age will become equal to five x. So three years ago. The son's age will be x minus three, and father's age will be five x minus three. So from there, you have to again write the write the relation. It is given three years ago, father's age was seven times the age of the son. So seven into x minus three is equal to five x minus three. Then you can solve it. So now how to use the shortcut? So shortcut means first itself you have to form a small table. So you can easily remember the formula. So father's age times son. So how many times father's age is that of son? That is the meaning. So T one is T one years ago. How many times was father's age that of son? And at present, what is the ratio? Or how many times the father's age is that of son? So like this, you can just form a small table. So let before T one years, father's age was x times that of son, and at present, father's age is y times that of son. Okay, T one years ago, father's age was x times that of son, and at present, father's age is y times that of son. So this way, if you simply write a small table, means you can uh, find out or you can use the uh, you can find out son's age by using the formula. Son's age is equal to t1 into x minus 1. So this t1 into x minus 1 divided by x minus 5. So this is the son's age. Son's age will be equal to 
t1 into x minus 1 divided by x minus y. So, now let us use this formula here what we will be getting let us see. So, here so here we will be getting so father's age times son. So, just our uh, raw heading we are writing. So, t1 what is t1 here 3 years ago it is given 3 years ago father's age and also present is given. So, just we can write this table. So, 3 years ago father's age was 7 times that of son. So, 7 we can write here and at present it is 5 times that of his son. So, that also we can write here. Okay. So, x is 7 and y is 5. 3 years ago how many times was father's age that of son and at present what is the relation between father's age and son's age. Father's age is 5 times that of son. So, just we have to write 7 here, 5 here. So, what is son's age? Son's age will be equal to t1 into x minus 1. So, 3 into 7 minus 1 divided by 7 minus 5 x minus 5 x minus y. So, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 which gives us 3 into 6 divided by 2. So, 3 into 3 is equal to 9 years. So, within seconds you can find out the answer. So, we will see more examples. So, you will be more thorough with the method. So, since this is a shortcut formula of the first kind. So, it will it will take some time to be thorough with the formula. So, we will see more examples. So, do not worry. So, what is father's age? Father's age is equal to 5 times that of son's age. At present father's age is 5 times. Present age of father is equal to 5 times the present age of son. So, father's age will be equal to 9 into 5 is equal to 45 years. So, this is the shortcut method. So, now let us see more applications of this shortcut formula. Now, question number 2. The age of Arun is 4 times that of his son. 5 years ago, Arun was 9 times as old as his, as his son was at that time. What is the present age of Arun? So, the again the same kind of question. At present, Arun is 4 times that of his son. So, Arun is the father. And Arun's age is 4 times son's age at present. And 5 years ago, what was the case? 5 years ago, Arun's age was 9 times that of son's age. 9 times of son's age 5 years ago. Then what is the present age of Arun or father's age? What is the present age of father? So, that is a given question. So, now let us try to apply the shortcut formula. So, shortcut how father's age times son. So, Arun's age times son. How many times is Arun's age that of son? So, x years, t1 years ago what was the case? So, t is equal to 5 here. So, 5 years ago and at present what is the case? So, 5 years ago Arun's age was 4 times that of son. So, you have to write here sorry. 5 years ago Arun's age was 9 times that of son. Okay? So, do not be confused 5 years ago 9 times. So, 5, 9 you have to write. At present Arun's age is 4 times that of son. So, you have to write 4 here. You have to form a small table. So, Arun's age times son is the row and t and present is the present are the columns. So, 5 years ago t is 5 here. 5 years ago Arun's age was 5 times that of son. And at present, Arun's age is 4 times that of son. So, what is son's age? You can find out son's age only. Then after finding out son's age, you have to find out the father's age by using the relation at present. So, son's age will be equal to t into x minus 1. So, 5 into 9 minus 1. 5 into 9 minus 1 divided by x minus y. So, 9 minus 4. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. So, 5 into 8 divided by 5. So, son's age will be equal to 8 years and what is Arun's age? Arun's age is 4 times that of son's age. So, you will be getting 32 years. So, that is the answer. Arun's age is equal to 32 years. So, what is our common formula? I will just write in the common formula here t into x minus 1 divided by x minus y. This is t 
this is x and this is y now question number 3 at present the age of geetha is 5 times that of her son 3 years hence geetha's age will be 4 times that of her son find the present ages of geetha and her son so here what is the given question geetha at present geetha's age is equal to 5 times son's age and after 3 years 3 years hence means the meaning is after 3 years here the past is not given the future is given after 3 years geetha's age will be equal to 4 times son's age then you have to find out what is geetha's age and what is son's age so this is the given question so the relation between geetha's present age and son's age is given and also 3 years after how the relation will change so that is also given you have to find out the present ages of geetha and her son so here also geetha's age times son so that is the row you have to uh, write the number of times as the row values and here you have to write present first and then you have to write the future so future is 3 years after so when it was past means you have to write 5 years ago means 5 you have to write as the first column value and present you have to write as the second column value so whichever is coming first so here we are talking about the future 3 years after geetha's age will be so present you have to write as the first column value and 3 years after so that you have to write as the second column value so at present geetha's age is 5 times that of son and in future geetha's age will be 4 times that of son and there is no change in formula formula will be 4 minus 1 only will come so the formula will be son's age son's age is equal to t into x minus 1 so 3 into 4 minus 1 so there is no change in that you should take only you should take only the uh, you should not take present here okay so here x minus 1 will come that x should be always either future value or the past value in the past 5 years ago geetha's age was 4 times that of son so x will become 5 there or in the future geetha's age will be 4 times that of son so x will be 4 so x will be always representing the future or the past you should not take present as x then you have to take the difference 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 okay so 3 into x minus 1 divided by y minus x so here y will be more because we are talking about future so present ratio will be any way greater than compared to the future ratio or future times okay so son's age is equal to 3 into x minus 1 divided by y minus x or you have to take the difference not to have to take the difference of the ratios so 3 into 3 is equal to 9 years so at present geetha's age is 5 times that of son's age so geetha's age will be equal to 9 into 5 is equal to 45 years so present ages of son and geetha are 9 45 uh, 9 years and 45 years respectively so understood how to do this question or how to use the shortcut formula you have to write father's age times son or mother's age times son that is the raw values so raw values will give you the times number of times should be written here so if it is past means uh, t years ago that t should be written here t what is t 3 years ago or 4 years ago and then present will come so otherwise if you are uh, writing about future means present present and future present and t years after so t will come here then you can write the number of times x and y means son's age will be equal to t into x minus 1 t into x minus 1 divided by x minus y if you are talking about future means uh, if you are writing x here okay t is after father's age will be x times that of son if that is the case son's age is equal to t into x minus 1 divided by y minus x always it should be positive whatever the equation you are writing son's age should be always positive there should not be any negative sign so that way you can easily remember you have to just subtract the number of times the greater one minus the lesser one always it should be positive thank you for watching